Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to set restrictions on data entry by using VBA. Consider the three columns here, and it is a must for the user to provide either the contact number or the email, which means that they cannot be blank at the same time. Let's consider a continuous data entry for this video, and we can now proceed to the developer tab, which will be to write the code. I'm going to write the code by using the current shape, that is shape 1. From the list of objects, select worksheet. Instead of using the selection change, let's change to the change procedure. For the unwanted procedure, delete if needed. And we can now write the code. Consider the two names here. I'm not going to check the particulars immediately right after a name is provided, since the user might go in to provide the details. Therefore, I'm going to remind the user only if a new name is provided but Excel detected the previous name with missing information. With this idea, I'm going to use a dummy i to record the row number for the newly entered name. We can make use of this variable target. So we type target here and should follow by the dot row property in order to record the row number. Next is to write the if statement. Again, bear in mind that I'm going to check the particulars only when the second name is provided. So we should first check if this cell is empty, which is located in this sheet. So we have sheet one dot cells bracket for the row index that is the target row. So we put I here, comma, since we are checking for the name, which is always under column J. So we type J together with the quotation marks and now set not equal to empty. Then we should check together with the details of the previous person. Recall that there cannot be empty at the same time. So we should use the end operator. The two cells here also located in sheet 1. So we have sheet 1 dot cells bracket for the row index since it's one row before this target cell. So we have i minus 1 comma and the column index which is k. So we type together with the quotation marks and this shouldn't be empty. So I'm going to set equal to empty. And so for the last column, for simplicity, I'm going to copy and paste it here. What we have to do is just change the alphabet to L. If all this fulfilled, then we should remind the user to come complete the details. We can use a message box bracket prompt with the message that we want. For example, the contact number and email for the person. For the person, I'm going to refer to the name here, which is not fixed. So we should refer to the content of the cell instead of typing the name. Therefore, we should first end this statement with the quotation mark and now join by using ampersand and link with the cell. So we have sheet one dot cells bracket the previous row of this target cell. So we have i minus one comma and this is always under column J. So type together with the quotation marks. After joining the name, we can now use another emphasis and connect with the rest of the statements. For example, R missing. And I'm going to end this statement with a full stop and quotation mark. Close bracket and enter. Next, I'm going to clear this content so that the user is obligated to fill up the particulars before entering a new name. So we have sheet one dot cells bracket the active role that is I comma which is under column J close bracket and we have taught clear contents and the next step is i'm going to select the cell that i wish the user to fill up so we have sheet one dot cells bracket the previous row comma the column that is column k close bracket 
and followed by dot select and the condition is now set since we start with if of course we have to end with if and the coding part is now done let's back to the spreadsheet and test so delete the existing one let's start with a name let's say amy and now we move on to the contact number so nothing happened here since this is just the first name that i provided so how if let's say i provide the second name let's say ben so move to contact number so as we can see excel detected the previous details are not provided so we have the alert here the contact number and email for amy are missing so once we click on ok ben deleted and we're back to contact number so let's provide the contact number and now move to the next person so we have band here move to contact number so nothing happened since either one of them provided let's say we provide the contact number and so the email for band let's continue for the third person let's say cat and we don't provide anything but we continue to the fourth person let's say danny once we move to the contact column as we can see we have the alert message again the contact number and email for cat are missing when we click on ok so again delete it and back to the contact number okay that's all for this video thanks for watching her blindness see you